The same set of rules for multiplication applies here too. So step number one, divide the absolute values And step number two, I'm talking about two numbers. If the two numbers have the same sign, the result is what? Positive, just like multiplications. And if they have different signs, The result is what? Negative. Negative. So there is no new rules here. Same set of rules. What's negative 16 divided by negative 2? Divide the absolute value. 16 divided by 2, which is what? 8. Do both of these numbers have the same sign? Positive. You don't put the plus if it's positive. So it's 8. Negative 30 divided by 5. Divide the absolute values. What's 30 divided by 5? 6. Do they have different signs or the same sign? Different. The result is negative. 20 divided by negative 2. Divide the absolute values. 20 by 2, which is what? 10. Different signs or opposite? Different. The result is negative. A lot of times when you're doing a math problem and you end up with an answer like this, I'll give you a fraction. Um, 4 over negative 8, right? And you go and you go, I can divide by 4, and your answer is what? 1 over negative 2, right? The minus and the bottom. So a lot of times you'll see us write that as negative 1 over 2. And people say, why would you move the minus sign up? It's the same thing. Different signs, the result is what? Negative. Different sign, the result is what? Negative. Some people even will write that, they put the negative in the front, and they go negative 1 half. That means the same thing. Still, negative, negative, negative. That's not a popular way to leave your answer. So you probably will not see that answer like this, either this or that. But that's the reason behind it. A positive divided by a negative is always a negative answer. So where you put the minus sign in the front, on the top, the bottom, it really doesn't matter. But that's what we like to see, these two. More of this than that, even. few things about uh, dividing two to remember, especially when you're dealing with zeros. What is zero divided by five? I'll give you a hint. Grandma died, she has no money, and has five kids. How much each kid's going to get? Zero. zero. Nothing. So zero divided by any number is zero. Zero divided by, I should retweet, nah, I'll just leave that statement alone for now. What's zero divided by negative seven? Zero. What is zero over 15? Zero. What's zero over negative 30? Zero. Now what about the zero on the bottom? What's five over zero? zero? Not zero, not five. Ah, what was it? Can't do it. Does not exist. Can't be done. If you have a calculator, it should give you an error. What's negative eight divided by zero? Does not exist. Your book will make you write N for no solution. They'll say write N if there is no solution. The software, I mean. 
What's negative 14 over 0? Does not exist. When I was talking 0 over a number, I said 0 over a number is always 0, and I wanted to retract that statement. It is really true all the time with the exception of one case. And that's when it's 0 over 0. I said, let it go, and I'll come back to it. Because that's what I was thinking in the back of my mind. Zero, I said 0 divided by any number is 0. It's not true. 0 divided by any number is 0 as long as the bottom is not 0. Once the bottom is 0, this is, does not exist. So a lot of times you hear me say that, and some of the people I had now in pre-algebra, we talked about this. I used to say to them, zero on the bottom is what? Nope. What was the saying I used? It is undefined. Is a problem. Zero on the bottom is a problem. And make a song about it. You gotta think of a way to sing it nicely. Zero on the bottom is a problem. So if you got zero on the bottom, doesn't matter what the top is, you got a problem. It can't be done. The other thing we should know, if you take a number and divide it by itself, except the zero here, if you take a number divided by itself, what's the answer? One. What's negative 10 over negative 10? One. What's 17 over 17? 1. What's negative 30 over negative 30? 1. What's 0 over 0? Very good. Does not exist. So any number divided by itself, it's 1 except 0 on the bottom. This one. Now let's take you back quickly. I only have a short time left here. Let's put some fractions just to see if you remember that. Because I know everyone loves fractions. If you have negative one third divided by five over six. First, a negative divided by positive, your answer should be what? Negative. negative. So we know that. But how would you divide negative one third divided by five six? What was the rule for division? What is it? Very good. Change the division to multiplications and take the reciprocal of that. Reciprocal means flip it. So negative 1 times 6, which is what? Negative 6 divided by 3 times 5, which is 15. If I leave my answer like this, I got it wrong because they want me to simplify it. Let's look at the 6 and the 15. Can you divide them by anything? Three. By 3, this is what? Three. I'm leaving the minus in the front, so I'm not getting rid of it. By 3, this is what? Five. 5, so it's negative 2 over 5. A lot of times people don't want to multiply <laughs> the numbers and simplify them. So they find it easier if they simplify first, then multiply, especially with big numbers. When I say simplify first, when you have multiplication, as long as top and the bottom. So here I can look at the 6 and the 3. I go by 3, this is 1. By 3, this is what? 2. two. So my answer is now what's negative 1 times 2? Negative 2 divided by 1 times 5, which is 5. Negative 2 fifths. That's a little bit faster and quicker. Let's try another fraction here. Negative 1 half divided by the 4. The 4 can be written 4 over what? 1. So let's apply that rule. Negative 1 half times the reciprocal of 4 over 1, which is what? 1 over 4. And now we multiply. What's minus 1 times 1? Negative 1. What is 2 times 4? 8. Negative 1, 8. You can put the minus in the top. You can put the minus in the front. Doesn't matter. What 
One more problem. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 times a negative 2. Now, order of operations. All you see is division multiplications. So which one do you do first? Division left to right. So what do you see first? I see division. A negative divided by a negative is what? Positive. What's 8 divided by 2? 4. That's a plus 4. Take that, and now you're going to multiply it by a negative 2. What's the positive times the negative? Negative 8. A lot of people, when they see that, they want to multiply these numbers, make that a 4, then divide them. It doesn't work that way. It's always left to right. If you see division first, you divide. If you see multiplication first, you multiply.